降参します Okay, so was there a point for her to be naked at the end of the fight? Wow, can I start all videos with like that? Like, is there a point for her to be naked? Um, okay, so here's the thing. So when it comes to Classroom of Heroes, I really do have to ask, was there a point for her or was there a need for Ernest, the red hair girl, to be naked at the last and final fight? And for her to just be completely naked at the end of the fight and for them not to say anything about it when our boy... Um, Blade just catches her all naked. Uh, is there a need? I guess not, but I guess maybe it 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 elevates the anime. So here's the thing: Classroom of Heroes uh, or Classroom for Heroes. It's it's either you're going to like it or you're going to hate it. Like I don't think there's a middle ground. I think for as much as I disliked it, I, I equally liked it. And uh, I don't know if, like, this is something I really want to watch. Like, this is one of those ones that I really, really feel in my heart is better served watching at the end of the season when all the episodes are there. I I don't think that this quite deserves the wait each week to watch it. Now, should you watch it? I think it's, it's really up to you. Like, I really don't know. Like, it's one of those things that if you said you're going to watch it, I'd be like, yeah, I can see why you would watch it. Like, it's it, it seems fun. It seems like it's going to have some, some, some silliness to it. It seems like it doesn't take itself too seriously. It seems like there's going to be two love interest. Pretty common, like, pretty commonplace, pretty common fair stuff here. Like, I think that if you said you're going to watch it, be like, yeah, cool. Like, I think it's going to be, I think you're going to have a fun time watching it. I don't think that you'll regret watching it. And if you said you're not going to watch it, be like, yeah, I totally get it. Like, um, either you, you know, you give it the three episode rule or like you just wait to the end of the season and just binge it as we're waiting for the next season to come. Uh, and that might be better, sir, because there could probably be some episodes that really are boring and really suck. Or if you're just like, oh, I'm not going to watch it, you know, it's just not for me. I'm like, yeah, I totally get it. It's it's very tropey, and Hero just wants to be a normal guy, but he's still incredibly, you know, horrifically powerful, and he can uh, cough, and a whole mountain blows down, and of course there's going to be two love interests. Of course there's going to be, like, a Rem type who's, like, very, like, Oh, domo arigato. It's very like very uh very soft spoken and who but who's crazy powerful still and a girl who's haughty but like you know she's like you know squishy inside, uh, like you know there's it's so commonplace for these these tropes. It's like you know I know each author takes inspiration from somebody else, but sometimes it's like yo, it's like goddamn, like this is like you know all you did was change the setting a little bit. Um. So if you if you if you say like oh I won't watch it because of that but like yeah I totally get it so it it really just comes down to your taste I I think for me I think I'm more leaning towards um I'm not gonna cover it every every single week unless this video blows up like yo you gotta give me like two thousand views you gotta cover it every week uh but I think this is one of those ones that's like I don't think I'm gonna cover it every week but I do think it's still good enough to watch I just think that I would much rather watch it. Uh, at the end of the season, when all 12 episodes are 13 or 11, however, however many episodes going to have, 12, of course it is. I think once all 12 episodes are there, binge all 12, because I think like some episodes are going to be, they're going to be wet farts. I think some episodes are going to suck, and there will probably be some boring ass ones. There will probably be some fire ones, too, so be, like, some really good, funny ones. But I think that uh, this is better served waiting till the end of the season like it's just one of those anime that's just it's it's too commonplace it's too tropey it's too uh predictable and again i just think it's one of those ones that's like yeah i think this is one of those that we just watch at the end of the season i think that's probably my best recommendation is watch it and binge it when all 12 episodes are available so you're not waiting uh especially when a couple of episodes probably will inevitably really really suck and then you have to, like, get yourself ready. Like, oh, I can't wait to watch next week. It's like, I don't even want to anymore. So it's like, it's better to watch them all at once. Again, that's just my personal opinion. So Classroom for Heroes, though, you know, I mean, it really is just strong guy took on the Demon King. Apparently didn't die. Demon King maybe died, too. Uh, he's not reincarnated, but the king, they saved him. They healed him. They got him from the brink of death. And now he just wants to be a normal kid at school. So he goes to this hero school, and uh, he's still not normal, but he tries to be. He's going to make friends with everybody. Of course, he makes friends with the strongest girl in school, who's a tsundere type. She's excited about making her first friend with him. Uh, he saves her. He figures out that she's being possessed by some kind of demon. He gets her to overcome it. 
now she's a little bit more squishier and friendlier towards everybody. And, of course, the king took over as headmaster as opposed to the former headmaster. So that's a thing, too. So, again, that's pretty much all that happened this episode, you know, with Blade just kind of being silly in himself and just trying to be friendly and just trying to have more of a childhood uh, school experience that he never had before because he was the great hero. Uh, so there is just simply that. Of course, we don't know his age either. Uh, and we don't know what really happened after the battle with the Demon King. So a lot of stuff that we still need to learn about as well that I'm sure may or actually may or may not come. We may not find out. I don't know. So we'll have to see. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comments below as always. Um, should you watch it? Up to you. Let me know if you are or aren't and the reasons in the comments below. You got nothing to say. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down uh, in the comments. That'd be awesome too. Again, if this video blows up, I'd be more than happy to watch every week. Assuming it doesn't, just kind of does normal, which is completely okay. And I appreciate every single view that I get. Uh, I probably won't be covering this every single week, but I will be covering a lot of other amazing anime. So check them out as they come on screen and get uh, told to you in your feeds, sub feeds, if you're subscribed. I hope you are. And uh, I'll see you guys next week for more anime, or I'll see you very soon for more anime. All right, peace.